Hello and welcome. We're going to talk about selecting astrophotography equipment here in part one and I hope to make uh, more in this series just to explain the astrophotography equipment we're going to discuss. Now the first thing we need to figure out is are you a visual observer or do you like astrophotography? Well with a visual eyepiece you don't get the great colors. I mean, it's just very slightly grayscale. Here's a picture of M31 that we're looking uh, simulated through an eyepiece. Very limited uh, view here. Now compare this to like a CCD astrophotography view. <clears throat> There's a lot of detail, much more color. To me this is a more rewarding than visual eyepiece. But that's up to you. Now start thinking about it. You start adding the money that you're going to put into this hobby and it adds up very quick. I mean you're talking 79, 140, you know, uh, 350. All these little prices add up and by the time you get it all done you're looking to start out at about 4200 bucks. Now you're going to spend 4200 bucks on this hobby. Are you still watching? Is this a sticker shock? Is it really worth it? Can you take astrophotography images? And the answer to this is I'm sure you can. So after you get over the initial sticker shock, we're going to have to figure out do you get frustrated very easily? Are you a problem solver? Do you like the outdoors? Well, hey, if you can do these uh, things and solve the problems and don't get frustrated, let's continue on. But one thing you cannot forget is astrophotography is a money hole. And there's going to be three main holes we're going to fill with cash, and I'm going to talk about them. A telescope, a mount, and a CCD camera. Now, with all these equipment choices that there are out here, and there's tons of them to, to select, uh, I'm going to kind of go through the steps that I think that you would best benefit from. Because I've made these mistakes. I've made bad purchasing decisions, and I'd like to just pass this along to you so you can get a little of a head start on it. One thing I'd like you to do is to visit myastroimages.com. There I have a form. You can look at this and get more insights on how to uh, better prepare your images. Also, if you would, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I hope to com uh, come up with more videos soon. Thank you.